All right, hey, this is Sean with The Driver's Perspective, and this is Ryan, and we're going to be making a wiring harness for his car. I think it's going to take us quite some time, so we wanted to document the process, show you all the trials and tribulations, and uh, share our frustrations as we go down this wonderful journey that is building a wiring harness. Ryan's done all the heavy lifting here, making diagrams, spreadsheets, in hopes to make our lives a little bit easier, uh, but we expect to run into some struggles and we'll see what happens but it should be fun got anything you want to share ryan uh no this is just our first time doing it um we're gonna try to do it relatively right um the idea is to not do anything just absurdly exotic that the car doesn't necessarily need but also to do things at least to a level where they should last for 10 years and there's not going to be any weird you know, malfunctions or anything like that. We've used a local source called ProWire. They have a lot of high-end uh, wiring, um, some Tefsol, and tried to pick the right components uh, where necessary. So like Ryan said, we don't end up uh, in a bind or have the wiring harness fail prematurely. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna start laying out the harness, put some turn points on this, uh, what's particle board? Yeah. Yeah. It put some like 10 bucks. We'll see how it goes. We'll update you in a little bit. So we immediately noticed an error in our ways here. Uh, we put our turn points in the middle of our board and realized we needed to move them up to account for some of the length you see here. And that'll be the next step. And we'll start laying it out more. All right, so we're done laying out the harness in its basic form on the particle board. We have screws that are turn points. And now it's gonna be time to start laying out the wire, wire by wire. and. We don't have the tail harness on here yet. Uh, that, that is a portion of it that we have to still put on. I'm thinking we can um, fit it right here though. There's yeah. basically nothing being used in that corner. Lots of room there. Uh, we did have to shift this up like I said earlier because we realized we had to have more room for this part portion of the harness. That's going to go to the dash. That's going to go to the accelerator pedal. And uh, like Ryan said, we're going to put the tail lights uh, and the tail section of the harness right around here. So. You can't pick up your paper, just put a handle on it. Yeah, much better, <laughs> much, much better. Good innovation here in the garage with uh, blue painter's tape, patent pending on that. So an important step when you're laying out each wire is you need to label it. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of wires here on the table, so we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna label the beginning and end of each wire, I think, to start. That way when we're looking at the harness and we're constructing it, we're gonna know what wire is what. We don't get something crossed up. So hopefully we're doing this once and we're not going back. So we got this Dymo uh, label maker uh, off of Amazon, and the cool thing is you can get cartridges for it that have heat shrink tube you can print on. Uh, this is gonna make uh, labeling the harness a lot quicker. We'll know exactly what it is. Ryan's developed a uh, coding system here on his sheet, so we know what wire is what, what color the wire is, the wire number, the gauge, where it's going. All right, so we're wrapping up day one, put a couple hours in here, ran a couple wires, kind of figured out a game plan and we're gonna start chipping away at this slowly but surely. We'll see how long this takes. I'm thinking it's gonna be about a month. Ryan, what do you want, a day, three days? I think it's better to just Probably not, not say how long it's gonna take. I think it's gonna be done when it's done and uh, when it's done, it's gonna be awesome. It'll be the V6 Hyper Miata. We'll see you guys next time.